Uh, 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 finally, climbed up that stupid cliff. Now then, to settle down and review the crap that is My Little Pony Friendship is magic. It has been quite a while since I've last reviewed it. The reason I've barely touched the show and even barely watched it in my own time is because I felt... It just kept making average episodes, and it would be, and it would just get boring for you guys if I kept giving episodes fours and fives right off, like just one after another. Reviewing is meant to be my entertainment to give to all of you who are watching this. I don't want to bore you by giving you similar reviews. However, there are two episodes recently that pissed me off so much. So, to get back into the final season of My Little Pony Friendship Is Magic. Let's take a look into 246 Great. So, the episode starts off with some small exposition. Yay! Apparently, Celestia's Magic Academy is going to have an exhibition match with Twilight's new academy in Buckball. You know, that stupid game that's basically a Quidditch ripoff. So, Twilight has Pinky, Fluttershy, and Snails as the coaches because they're Buckball experts, apparently. I can only assume it's because they were in the Appaloosa book ball match. However, Twilight has also called Rainbow Dash to help coach. The cheerleading team. You know, because old Rainbow Dash was into more girly things. And yes, I know cheerleading isn't inherently feminine, but today's society has kind of led to that perception. You even saw an anime about cheerleading, but nonetheless, cheerleading is more or less a more feminine area. And of course, Dash, the super tomboy that she is, is not going to like this one bit. But I don't want to spoil it, so let's continue. Rainbow Dash's first move after hearing about being coach of the cheer squad is to bash it by calling it unimportant and then laughing after Twilight calls it important and basically says that it is beneath her. And here's where the episode doesn't take a nosedive, but blows up and comes crashing down in separate debris piles. Rainbow Dash's character is written so poorly that I can only hate her throughout this entire episode. Rainbow Dash says she's fine with other ponies liking it, and Twilight telling her that this will be a good way to find out why others like it. If only that happened in this episode, though. Twilight thinks Rainbow is the perfect choice, despite Rainbow Dash saying herself, I'm not even 100% sure what they do. I'll probably just mess it up. Are you serious, Twilight? You're going to leave the cheer squad, something you personally believe is important, in the hands of someone who admits they don't know what to do. That is some bad leadership just for the sake of this plot. Then Snips joins the episodes, and I don't even know why. He's mainly there to sell things to ponies for some reason. I'm guessing he's only here because Snails is important to the plot, and the two used to be like a sort of comedy duo, at least that's what their intent was, and so why not just bring him in, I guess. The cheer squad currently is two actual cheer ponies, who the show later says that they're the dance ponies around the school, as well as the girls of the student six, because like I said earlier, that cheerleading has been made to be a more feminine thing, so this will of course go terribly. And then we get this small scene. Gonna make us into the most awesome cheer squad ever. Uh, uh. Mm. This is one of the lines that I hate with a passion. It's a great way to make me hate Rainbow Dash. Her tone shows that she does not care one bit about this job of hers. She casts them aside as worthless because they aren't a buckball team and immediately leaves them to fly to the window and watch the buckball team train while leaving her actual team she should be looking out for to just drown in these waters. Even in her tone, she clearly does not care for them and has no enthusiasm. It is a terrible scene because it makes me hate Rainbow Dash more and more. But upon reflection... It's also a great scene for showing Rainbow's current character. No enthusiasm in her voice, no expression in her face like they normally make meme faces with, and the animation showing her leaving almost immediately after dismissing them. As art, this scene is kind of beautiful. Anyways, let's continue into this trash fire of an episode. Snips thinks this is a joke, or at least tries to play it off to the others as 
It's a joke, I guess. But Dash continues to focus only on the Buckball team and feel down for herself because she doesn't get the fun job. Because she's a baby. Snoops at least treats it as if he actually was an assistant coach, but the current team is not good at all. Since the plot demands that Dash turn the team around like how movies normally do something like this. So how does Dash react to the team being terrible? Saying that they have nothing to worry about, and lies to them just so she can leave them to go down to the field. Basically going, you wasted my time, so I'm going to leave. Snips is able to catch Dash before she's gone, somehow, trying to force her to be a coach and explain to her that a cheer squad is important because it gets people excited about the game. However, it sucks that Snips doesn't raise the point that a team's morale can also be raised with a cheer squad because he's all about capitalism and selling souvenirs in this episode. So Dash just unofficially promotes Snips to coach since she doesn't give a crap about the outcome and goes to the field so we can see Snails' weird teaching technique. Smolder goes to confront Dash, which kind of surprises me since she's basically Dash 2.0 but with the tomboy cranked up to 11. We see that Snips has also accomplished nothing, but he at least tried something. That's all I'm giving him. Smolder, of course, gets angry because Dash continues to go, I don't know what to do, and does nothing. So Dash decides to actually try something for once, which is just use snails but not really. Dash tries to leave for like the third time and again gets stopped because the students care and Dash doesn't. So it's like a conflict of interest but one side is just a fucking baby that infuriates you at every sentence uttered. And then we get a literal... We've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. And then Dash tries something a bit better. You know, trying something. The thing she should be doing instead of just dismissing them outright. She goes to get supplies from her friends and just drops them off for the students. So Dash, once again, leaves. I know I've said this like eight times already, but she does this a lot and tells the students to do all the work to show off to Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie while she gets to watch the buckball team. Dash then laughs again when Pinkie and Fluttershy say that they actually look forward to the cheer squad and what they've come up with. So, of course, the cheer squad fails and Dash gets caught in the act of not caring and still does absolutely nothing about it. She still thinks others don't care, and gets torn off by Smolder again, as well as guilt trip by her. But, only after this guilt trip, does Dash decide, Huh, maybe I should do something. So then we get a training montage, because why not? We gotta rush this to the end somehow, and then we get to see the end result. Where, despite Twilight School losing, you know, a thing I've actually complained about, about how the hero always win, so when we get a... So when we finally get a loss, it's not really important, but whatever. Dash gets praised for being a good cheer coach and inspires Celestia to get a cheer team as well. Now, sadly, I don't record my reactions to this stuff, but I can recreate what I said since both me and Kat turned it into a small little joke when we saw the rerun of it. After seeing Celestia praise Dash for her work as, a, as the cheer coach, my literal quote was, Wow, Rainbow Dash, you're so great! Let's give you the key to the fucking universe! I don't even care if the lesson Twilight says is, you don't have to care about the things others do, as long as you care about the people who do care about them. Because that's not what this lesson was at all. If this wanted to be a lesson, it should have just been, you don't have to like something, but you should at least respect that others do as well as have a vastly different story in place of this one that we just saw. Because all this episode accomplished was showing that Rainbow Dash didn't care about her cheer squad at all, and only cared about it after being indirectly praised by Smolder. She only cares for things if she is directly involved, which makes sense, but she doesn't do it out of respect for others at all, a thing people can do. It's called having a job. You don't have to like your job, you just have to at least do the work. Dash didn't even do that in this episode. This just goes to show how self-centered Dash's character was in this episode. I hated this episode, but you probably gathered that with my own tone. Even with my appreciation of the scene I hated the most, this still gets a 0 out of 10. Yes, that's right. A 0. There was nothing good. Or at least close to nothing good. The lesson was 
bullshit because the character who was supposed to learn it never truly expressed that she did learn it. it she, her character was just turned 180 in the final minutes after the montage. The supporting characters weren't bad per se, but didn't really add much to it either. Snips didn't need to be in it at all, the two dancer ponies were just there, the three girls of the student six weren't great but weren't bad either, but Rainbow Dash was absolutely 100% terrible. She had to be forced into giving a single damn again, and only did her job after Smolder said that she could make anything cool if she tries because she's Rainbow Dash and 20% cooler meme. It has been a long while of me watching My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. It fell to average territory, so to come back to a crap episode like this feels so terrible. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos here at Wolf Entertainment. I'm Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Are you finally done? What the? Who are you? I'm just the unfortunate creature that was forced to listen to your stupid rambles. Are you going to eat me or something? Not at this moment. I don't think I'd like your taste anyways. Well, uh, can you at least help me find my friends? I have a thing to help us locate one another, but I don't think it's working right now. I might be able to lend a hand. Or six. But the question is, what are you willing to lose?